Jackson State, they play University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Was one and six on the season. Will score like a hundred points. They average like 12 points, 12, 13 points a game. The thing is, Jackson State can't take them lightly. They can't take them lightly. Also, they can't have six fumbles. They can't have six fumbles and expect to beat Palm Bluff. They got away with that last week, but that was against Mississippi Valley State. I'm going to go on the record to say Pine Bluff is a little, little stronger. So if Jackson State don't turn the ball over and they defense show up, which I know the defense is, I know they're going to show out, Jackson State should win the game. I'm not going to say it's going to be a blowout or nothing like that. I'm just saying Jackson State should win the game. Now, Jacoby and Morgan's going to start his second game. Now, last week he had 107 yards rushing. He's a dual-threat quarterback. He got a strong arm. He can make every throw. He just can't be reckless with that football. It, really, it kind of starts with him as far as he's the leader on offense. He's the quarterback. He can't turn the ball over like he did last week. Now, Jackson State might not have Irv Mulligan for the game. He was in a walking boot, and his availability is still up in the air. We all know he got hurt during the homecoming game against Alabama State. But Jackson State's passing game has not really been that explosive this season. And that's for multiple reasons. For one, the best quarterback in the SWAC last year, he's playing at Colorado. Now, Jason Brown's been solid, but not spectacular. This is why they're starting Jacoby and Morgan. They're looking for more of a, a spark from the quarterback position. Will they get it? We'll see. They got the talent. It's just, for some reason, they've just been average in the passing game all season. But things should change today because Pine Bluff is the worst defense in the conference. They allow 250 something yards a game and through the air. So Jackson State should be able to get some big plays in the passing game today. They should. We'll see what happens. Now the game is what they believe 3:30. I'm gonna probably catch that uh, join on YouTube. Cause I'm probably be out and about. Jackson State's uh, special teams. They didn't do a bad job last week. They got to keep improving. Now look, Jackson State can finish the season eight and three, which is a or nine and three, which is a good year. Not great, but a good year. The last couple weeks, they're playing horrible football teams. So there's no reason why they shouldn't improve to six and three on the season today. It's not gonna be easy, but as long as they play fundamental sound football, they should be all right. Welcome to holler at you guys later. This is Corner Sports Net.